Manipur. And as you can see in our virtual set for many of you might recognize the art and the artist Tokchom Soni. Uh, Soni, a big warm welcome. This is an Thank interview I've been planning for years, many years. In fact. Uh, so I'm very, very excited that you are here. Um, for the ones who don't know Sony, uh, you are in for a very exciting interview to learn more about him, about his work. Uh, Sony is a visual artist from Manipur. He tells story about Manipur, you know, about our root culture through his art. And I am really a follower and fan of his work. Um, you can see that it has a mix of you know fashion illustration and fine art and uh, every work what he has uh, uh, presented to all of us has been uh, so unique and so creative and i'm so proud to be presenting him today uh, as part of people of Malibu. so with that let's give sony a warm welcome and to all our listeners uh, take the time to share in social media right now. I'm going to also take that moment uh, while Sony is going to tell a little bit about uh, himself. Hi, Jay. Uh, thank you so much for having me here. Um, it took a long time. Like, we, we have been planning for this, but uh, finally it happened. And I am very grateful for, for, for this, Jay. Um, Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining here. Um, I am Thopcham Soni. I am from Manipur. I was based in New Delhi for a very long time, but because of the pandemic, um, I am I'm also based in Imphal now most of the time. In between, I go back to Delhi, but uh, now I'm, uh, I'm in Manipur most of the time. Um, <laughs> Thank okay. you. Uh, so, my, what I want, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Please, uh, just help me. <laughs> yeah, 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 no, I want to thing. share. I don't want to miss any story from you. So, share from your childhood. Yeah, and then, you know, yeah. we'll go, go over, you know, like uh, all the uh, journey which you have had. Yeah, definitely. I will do that. Um, I have always uh, liked painting, drawings since uh, childhood. As far as I remember, when I was very little, I used to uh, scribble around our house walls, and you know, uh, whenever I get uh, you know these empty sheets of paper, I used to draw, um, and then gradually, you know, I. I started improving in it uh, slowly, slowly, and then. But um, when I was in the in twelfth class, um, I didn't know that we could uh, we could do a, 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 our career on fine arts. Um, but uh, I found out later through a friend, and then I was really excited. I told my parents that I really want to pursue for fine arts. Um, but you know, they were very worried and concerned about me because what will you do? You know, uh, after you come com complete the course, you you will come back home, and what will you do? How will you earn? How how will you get a job? You know, that was their concern. But I, I mean, I was so passionate about art and uh, I mean I could not think of any other career than going for fine arts. Um, it was challenging, yes, uh, because there were very few uh, people that I know who are in who are into fine arts uh, around to get advice. Um, but I, I, I took my father to our, our fine arts teacher of Manipur Public School, uh, Sir Anil Salam. And then uh, we thoroughly had a chat, and you know, uh, Sir Anil had uh, explained my father that you know, what are the possibilities to do in fine arts. You know, there, there, are, there are applied arts, there are painting, sculptures, 
graphics. Uh, so so many are there, you know. Um, so finally, he 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 connected me to one of our our senior from uh, Manipur Public School. Um, he was do, he he was doing uh, fine arts. Uh, Bachelor in fine art in painting that time, and he was in second year. So he contacted me to him, and then I finally came to Delhi. And uh, you know, when I first arrived to Delhi, I just wanted to go back home on the next day. It was a, it was a huge shock. Everything, you know, the the temperature was above forty, and I was not used to it. And you know, uh, the 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 traffic, the noise, the smell of pollution. You know, everything was so overtly is is stimulating. You know, so uh, it was really tough. And on top of that, I I could not communicate with the people uh, because my Hindi was not fluent. Um, my English was also not very good at that time. I could understand, but you know, I I had this. Um, you know, it just blocks. You know, when I wanted to talk like that, uh, but gradually. Uh, I somehow survived, and then uh, I, I I got through Jamia Millia Islamia uh, University in the fine arts department. I did my graduation in applied art over there, and then uh, you know when I was in second year, I used to do a lot of freelance uh, works for illustrations. I, I did uh, you know some some somehow all the all the contacts uh, just came on the way a lot of those opens up you know so that was really uh, motivating for me at that time I could uh, earn some money while uh, while in the in the college also to support uh, my uh, my bills and other things to buy art materials. Uh, yeah, um, and then the, I I did my uh, diploma in animation and VFX from Mass Communication and Re Re Research Center, mm -hmm. Jamia, and uh, I, I find the faculty over there very supportive to me. Uh, Shaibani Azam was our uh, HOD and she she was an empowered woman and she she really took care of me through the course and uh, she helped me connect to uh, pe pe people and companies for work and you know so I am really grateful for for her and the people over there in in Moscow. Mm -hmm. So um, so initially I. I was mostly doing works for other people, like books, illustrations, uh, comics for Indian war uh, heroes, um, and then uh, for a couple of books. But some, some, somehow, you know, uh, in in the back of my mind, I really wanted to do, to do some something that I feel I, you know. I realized that art is not just you look and paint or you know you you make it for somebody but also you can really voice out our energy uh, you know it's it's like when you're composing a, a music you know when you are sad you can sing you know so when i'm sad i can paint you know when i'm down i can paint when i'm happy when when i'm thrilled when uh, you know when, when i go out in nature it inspires me, so I just paint and express. So uh, nature is my huge inspiration. Um, and then cultures, I like to explore uh, different cultures. I love to meet uh, pe people uh, from all, all walks of life, uh, different cultures. So I, I met a lot of people in New Delhi, so that kind of opens up uh, my mind to, uh, that's why I, I also make a lot of portraits because I interact with uh, human beings and humanity, you know. So I, I, my idea is to educate, 
you know art has the power to heal um, power to change our heart power to um, it, it 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 can provoke thoughts and make you think of you know something that you have never thought or seen from another perspective um, art can really shape our society um, this is something that i learned in my journey yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. what else <laughs> all right so let's take a pause um at that because i want to go back uh, you know based on your sharing and to all our listeners i see a lot of you uh, uh, tuning in um do share also post your comments and question from for sony today and yeah thank you love and like uh, you know let's be supportive of our creative uh, visual artists from manipur and as I am continuing my journey of people of Manipur, I have been always amazed to find the passion, the you know, the behind the scene which goes in making any work or doing any of the uh, work, you know, what has been put out in the universe. So let's go back, right? So you said you started uh, painting, not really painting, but you know, you were interested in drawing from childhood. So even when you were a child, were you, when you were, you know, scribbling or sketching, was it always mm. portrait or what was the subject? Um, it was mostly portrait. Uh, I used to, you know, I, I begin by drawing our family, like this is mom, this is dad, um, uh, my sister, brother, me. And, but, you know, like some, sometimes I remember I used to get uh, really, scared by the things that, that I draw, you know, so we used to make little ohm because my my cousin's sister, she 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 made us even more scared by saying that if you make ugly uh, faces, you know, your your future child will look like that. <laughs> so you need to draw little ohm or you know some something like that or a cross, you know. <laughs> That's interesting. So, it so you did it with pencil? Yeah, yeah, mostly pencils, and then the, sometimes I would find crayons, uh, but but mostly pencils. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You know, I used to draw women, particularly. I remember everywhere I went when I was small. I used to draw women with like long hair and you know all different kinds of hair. So I. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know about the saying that, oh, if you don't draw it nice, then, you know, it'll come back in your future generation. But that's a very interesting, <laughs> interesting. Yeah. So now coming back to you choosing the career, right? You mentioned your teacher, Anil. What is his yeah, name? Yes, sir. Anil Salam. Anil Salam. <laughs> yeah. And this was when you were in Manipur Public School. Yes, right. Okay. And so how did he right, how did he know your keen interest in art? Did you speak to him? And the reason why I'm asking this is you know, can, people, can you can uh, pardon, can you repeat again? Just the wind is blowing, you know, it's just <laughs> I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, don't worry, I lost it. So many people in Manipur particularly mm -hmm. Right, we struggle on the choice of following our dreams and aspiration. And I wanted to talk mm -hmm. a little bit on this because it looks like, um, you know, your teacher was really supportive and instrumental in convincing your family, right? Um, yeah, yeah. So share a little bit on how, you know, your teacher, uh, Mr. Anil Salam, came to know about your art and, you know, voice for you. Yeah, um, I mean, he 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 was a very kind te 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 teacher, but he was also very busy in the school because we have many sections, you know. So there are lots of students. So um, some sometimes uh, we reach out to him. We we go to his uh, art room, and then we we get fascinated by the things he 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 makes, and also all the submissions from the other 
senior students. Um, so we knew, but you know, we we didn't have a lot of interaction with him. Um, but he was always there, you know. If, if, he, so if he we, was the we, art teacher. Yeah, yeah. He was oh, the only, only senior art teacher in our school. Um, and then the 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 thing is like in uh, in most of the schools in in Manipur, um, they don't put a lot of emphasis on art class. You know, this is mm -hmm. something that I really. Uh, missed out. So we had only one class in the entire week for fine art. Mm -hmm. That was also, I think, for only half an hour. So mm -hmm. there wasn't a lot of things to to do. But I mean, we used to enjoy uh, right. making assignments at, at home. And then we would submit the paintings to him uh, like that. So even now also some of the schools, they don't have art class at all. I mean, this is really- Yeah, no, that uh, is true. So I, I don't remember having any art class when I was small. We never had the opportunity, you know? It was more like, okay, yeah, maybe we, so, had, <clears throat> yeah, we had some exhibition in school, but you're right, you know, like there is not so much of emphasis in school. But maybe once you're in college and you are specialized, you take it because you chose to take it. Okay, yeah, and yeah. what happened? Then you spoke to him? Um, yeah, so um, like in, in between only, we used to only talk, not a lot also, he, he, he was very busy with the other class. Mm -hmm. So, but when I took my fa father, to 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 his place, you know, he really, really shared, uh, you know, helped me. Um, he had he had seen my work also in the in in the school, so he would always encourage me. Um, yeah, so that is there. And um, one thing about uh, you know, fine arts in Manipur back then, you know. Uh, we didn't had a, a a a lot of exposure with the art exhibitions and all because uh, and uh, you know when we talk about uh, a, a career in in fine arts people wouldn't take it seriously you know everybody was forcing or telling advising their children to go for either medical or engineer um, or for defense like that. I mean, now maybe they have changed a bit, but in our time it was like that. And it was really challenging to really insist our parents or even just our, uh, our uh, family members, you know, to, and then the, to take the permission it took a, you know, but mm -hmm. finally it happened. And yeah. now I think we we have to inspire the youth, uh, the coming generation, you know. So we are trying to do exhibitions and all uh, here also just b before the pandemic, we were planning to do a big exhibition uh, with uh, fashion shows and all, but uh, due to the COVID, it didn't happen. So, but uh, we have a group of artists uh, who were in Delhi in the past, but now everybody is back home and settled. So we are really trying to build up a community and do exhibitions or also to share our, our journey and, uh, you know, the scope in fine arts. That's what we are doing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, absolutely. I had something in my mind, but I just forgot. <laughs> I wanted to say something. Yeah, no, I'm sure it'll come back um, during this course of interview. So if Sir Anil Salam is watching, a big thagachari from me. On, <laughs> you know, Because when I hear the story about Sony, being you know um 
becoming the artist now he is i see that you know whatever he has done was very instrumental and is he do you know if he is still the teacher in manipur public school yeah i really want to thank uh, sir and i i hope to meet him um soon i'm 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 not in touch somehow because i don't find him on facebook also um so but i have to find him out somehow and i would like to meet him and really uh, show my gratitude and thanks to him uh, yeah and i yeah, think because that that was my big, that was the beginning of my journey you know yes so, yes um, so do you think uh, your parents right at that time i can also understand why parents were reluctant at that time and now i see that more people are aware of the different career option and i mm. see parents are more supportive than probably your time or my time right so what do you like in your experience now where you are are your parents uh, still like you know telling you like oh you should have chosen a different career or are they happy and supportive with what you are now now they are happy now they are happy and su supportive uh, with me but uh, i mean that also it it was a process you know it didn't yeah. just happen like that so gradually they they were uh, they were seeing my work you know now they are quite uh, and then they also see that people have recognized my work and uh, uh, they could find articles sometimes um, so they are, they are, they you know they they might not share to me but i know that they are they are proud of me <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, that's interesting but really so what i want to know about your parents what do they do and tell me about your family do you have any siblings uh my mom is a housewife um uh, my father is a police officer um so in the beginning also he was very strict with us uh, but now he he is like a friend and he is uh, quite open and uh, he's fun to talk now uh, but when we were young we were really afraid of him <laughs> yeah. um so but apart from that my you know what inspired me initially was also my mom used to weave uh, you know bed sheets and uh, you know on the on the loom so she would design flowers you know floral motifs so that also inspired me in the beginning and my father used to make mura you know that yes that that little chair mura um you know so he would weave with the bamboo so i mean these are little things that i didn't realize but that really uh, you know did something at the back of my mind i believe uh, so that creativity was there you know not in the form of fine arts right. but in the form of other craft um yeah uh yeah of um, course you know, it's it's like you don't we don't think about it but your exposure to that creative scene and i see that in your work right many of your portraits have got you know the manipuri fee with all the designs and yeah <laughs> now that you True. mentioned about your mom being and you know the motif it's it's uh, really nice to know that background the the other thing is uh, they love gardening um mm -hmm. so when when i was very small you know we we lived in a joint family and everything was congested there was no place to plant uh, but my mom would have a little box where she would grow napakpi mm -hmm. nakupi you know sometimes uh, coriander also mm -hmm. but now we have a big garden right in front of the house and uh, they love to to do gardening there um, they love to grow food um, that also inspired me a lot uh, i think that that is the reason i love green color also from the beginning you know it was there i love green uh, i used to dye my hair green all the time just <laughs> right now i got it cut i have to color it again uh, it has become my look <laughs> everybody 
remembers me with the artist with the green hair. So I I miss it, but I'm going to get back soon. Uh, I love green. Um, yeah. <laughs> when we share the work, I'll show you one of the uh, memory memory from my childhood about the green umbrella which my mom okay. bought it for, for me that was a sweet memory i did a painting of that one uh, okay awesome so, yeah let's do that um so before we go into your work right um you spoke about your journey in delhi that's where you learn you know more um, which year did you go to Delhi? I I I went to Delhi in 2007-8 sometime. I think towards 2008. Yeah, mm -hmm. 2007 eight. I not I don't remember exactly, but I think 2007 or eight. Some some somewhere in between. Yeah. Okay. Um, lots of difficulties I faced in Delhi also, but. It gives a lot of uh, opportunities also, which I didn't get it in the past. Um, Delhi, my life in Delhi also has a huge impact. Uh, it opens up my mind, uh, you know, interacting with people from different culture. Sometimes I like to me, uh, I, I like to chat with the authoritative shawalas in Delhi, and you know, uh, they will share their background and uh, its, 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 its stories. Um, you know, so I I just learn uh, a lot of things from everywhere. Um, sometimes in the beginning, I I I had I had faced racism also uh, in Delhi. That could happen with uh, many of us from who are from northeastern. Um, that is there. Um, that's why I want to educate. Um, through my artwork about our cult, cu cultures, mm -hmm. that's one of the main re reason why I make the a lot of the co collections inspired by the northeastern uh, tribal communities and nature biodiversity mm -hmm. of the northeast because a lot of people uh, have no idea about it and also the thing is they didn't put it in the education educational books also so i have to even in the films uh, you know they they it's it's under documented i feel um yes so definitely. this is a this is my contribution to educate and give awareness about uh, our culture mm -hmm. to to the rest of india and also to the world yes uh, Yes, no, and love it, right? Um, absolutely point on about, you know, the people in India having less knowledge about Manipur and the rest of Northeast and the documented, right? Yeah. Um, so do you mind sharing a little bit on your personal experience on racism? Um, and how you coped. Most importantly, I want to understand how you coped on it, on your reaction, on surviving through it. Because yeah. I I know that this is something which many of us have shared after, uh, many of us have experienced after we came out of Manipur. Um, and I want to share how we coped because I think that is also very important. Yeah, so I, I I have seen the most horrible uh, situation. Also, um, the first time I experienced not with me but my roommate. Um, so in the beginning, I when I came to Delhi, I I was li living in east of Delhi, east east Delhi in Lakshminagar. So the crowd there, the the pe people there are mostly locals and people from uh, UP. Um, in in South Delhi, where I'm based, uh, it's more of mixed crowd. Uh, also, people from all different parts of the world they come and live there. They work there. 
So East Delhi was uh, different. So when I was in first year, um, my roommate was in second year. And uh, what happened was late night, they went out, um, you know, for a walk. And then uh, I think one of the gunda in the in the in the gully uh, called him names like Chinky and Nepali and all. Um, so they replied back. So it was three, four of them. They were went out. Uh, so they replied, and then they 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 were they met argument there. But after some time, this man, this guy left. But he came with his gang on on bike with knives, uh, you know. So and then suddenly they got attacked. So my roommate, his hand got chopped like here. Oh my god! Knee cut, but it was hanging by the tendon over here. Um, I didn't know that day, but next day I I get to know because they didn't come back home, and then uh, I thought they must be uh, at their friend's uh, house having dinner or party um, but um, next day they called me and they uh, they told me that he was in the hospital so that was a really shocking uh, experience of my life you know uh, we i went to see him in the hos hospital and we all were traumatized uh, we were so scared that uh, you know we immediately moved away from that place because we never know the gundas might come back again to find us or we don't want to see them on the way also and uh, it was really scary because we were naive and young and uh, also it was really scary to go to the police also that time um, uh, so we after that we moved to South Delhi and it was much safer um, so that was the thing um, in my personal experience also uh, one time in the U university one of the uh, guest faculty uh, he called me chowmin you know <laughs> and i didn't like it i didn't re 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 respond to it first and then he called my name that, that also right in front of everybody in the classroom i didn't like it so i didn't say anything that time so i went to the hod to Shaibani, ma'am, uh, and then I told her that uh, this teacher had called me names, uh, you know, like this, and I don't like it. So she immediately took action, and uh, instead of feeling sorry, he, uh, this te teacher got offended. Um, but uh, Shaibani, ma'am, uh, she, she was always supportive to me, as I told you. Um, uh, she was there for for me anyhow, uh, uh, and then this teacher left the university after some time. Um, so I mean, like some somehow I, I didn't keep quiet at that time. Um, the other thing is I like to avoid going to certain places which which uh, which I don't find it safe. There are a lot of places like East Delhi. I would avoid going late unless I am with a lot of friends or with local friends. So like that, I mean, the South Delhi is much safe. I'm, I, I'm you know, for women, men, uh, anybody, I think it's much safer because a lot of time we travel at night also, we didn't have experience anything like that. So avoid going to certain shady places, yeah. Okay. That was my experience. Yeah, so thank you for sharing what you have experienced. And the intent for us talking this is because, you know, we still have a lot of youth everywhere and, you know, we see the news and I want all our youth and us to be equipped with how do we handle, how do we cope, right? Yeah. And in your sharing, there are a lot of lessons we can learn from how Sony has approached it. Mm. Imagine, right, you you experience your roommate, his hand got chopped off. And as you had said, it is very traumatic. It is very mm. scary for somebody young at that time, right, to experience yeah. that. Mm. Even then, when somebody is calling name, 
in your uh, college, you spoke up. And I love that because you mm -hmm. knew when to speak up, you knew when to scale down, mm -hmm. right? So yeah. you spoke up in your college, which is more a safe environment. And you had somebody who was supportive of you and where your voice is nurtured and heard. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you also took a very conscious decision of not of avoiding places, mm. right? And so yeah. sometimes I know that, you know, young people, um, we say, oh, it's all right, right to walk, right to speak. But I think we all know that this is the truth. It's a reality about racism going on. Yeah. And so I also definitely support your approach. And I think it's the right and wise way to know, right? If mm -hmm. we know this area is like this, then maybe, you know, I have seen young people even saying that, oh, it is all right. We should be wearing this dress. How dare you comment on how I dress, right? But if we yeah. know that it's going to attract negative things, then maybe we need to scale down on those, knowing where, and when to talk, mm -hmm. to express our freedom, I think that is important, right? Yeah. Yeah, depending on the situation. I mean, if, yeah, I, I, I have to know when to react and yes. where to, where to ap approach. Yes. Um, we have to be wise with our decision, I, I think in in that moment right and and you know to to our listeners let let us you know share your thoughts also and your experience because it is very unfortunate you know when um when we see news and we want to be equipped with how should we cope up and how we can handle is it yeah. fair no absolutely not it's not no. fair right but there were things I did just to go through that phase, knowing that, okay, I'm a student here. My goal is to study and I am going to go through that phase. Mm -hmm. um, people calling name, did it impact me? Did it impact you? Yes, of course. It is not nice to be, you know, we have our own name. We yeah. don't need an alternative name, right? Mm. or people just um, looking down at you because of the way you look and the way you dress is it fair yeah. no absolutely not right but mm. knowing when to voice and knowing when to scale down because we have to think about the safety we are talking mm. about people like you know who are ready to attack you right so yeah Thank you for sharing that. Um, then I want to. But I met. Yes. I, I have met a lot of amazing people who have inspired me in Delhi. Who who are, um, who are intellectuals and who uh, you know, who really inspired me uh, in every way. So I have met a lot of people in D D Delhi. So. It's not that everybody is bad, but uh, you know, mm -hmm. certain pe people who are not aware about uh, our culture, um, they they tend to uh, assume and then react in a different way. Yeah. Right. Right. And as you have mentioned, your teacher's name, Sevani. Sevani Azam. Azam. Okay. Yeah, she's right. even now also she's always supportive. Uh, yeah. uh, she 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 called me back. Uh, so well, there was one incident also. Um, so after the diploma course, I I got a placement in the campus and I was working in a com company for some time. But af after nine months, I, I just gave up because I was burning out because. Uh, um, I was, I was giving my best, but people were uh, sometimes pe people, uh, you know, uh, exploit young 
artists at the workplace that can happen um you know but i was honest with what i do um i gave my 100 percent, but they didn't do a lot of things from their part so i left the job that is the there is a turning point also for me doing my own uh, collection my own artwork so the, uh, that time Shaibani, uh, ma'am, she she called me back to teach also in the university as a contractual faculty. So she was always there. So I truly uh, I'm really thankful to her, and even now also she's always there. Yeah. So I have met really nice yeah. people in Delhi who have inspired me a lot, and a lot of women that too. A lot of women who have inspired me. Very strong, empowered women. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, you know, what we are learning is uh, we cannot bucket, right? When we come out, everybody is racist or everybody is not nice to us. Like Sony said, mm. there are a lot of people who have inspired, who have nurtured us in mm. helping us be who we are and where we yeah. are. And we should not forget that, right? So, it's a beautiful, right. um, you know, topic what you have brought together that, yes, there are racism. Yes, there are things which are not fair. But yet, you know, the journey of life makes it so beautiful when you meet people, you know, who supports you, who inspires you. So, you know, we cannot like bucket and say that, oh, you know, this group of people or this place and things like that. So I think, yeah. um, <laughs> you know, your sharing is uh, beautiful. And thank you to your teacher, uh, Sevani. Yeah. I hope that she's yeah. watching and, you know, how instrumental it can be when you get a support or inspiration from somebody and we should never forget that. So thank you. Yeah. All right. So let's talk. You know, our conversation is like so exciting. It's already 42 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's talk a little bit about your work and let's start with the work right, uh, you know, at, behind you, which is so beautiful and so, it is new. I have not seen that. So tell us about this uh, work. Is it is it possible to share from the Facebook album? Yes, uh, yes. I have I put can. this work also. I think that would be more clear right now. Yes. Uh, I think it's a little bit blurred. So uh, if, if if we can. I'm going to zoom uh, in. Look at yeah. this. Okay. Tell us about this Loptak Lake in my eyes. And this you have uh, just posted it on June yeah. 8. Right, right. So um, this artwork is a collection from my uh, 2020 series called Growing Wild. Growing Wild is inspired uh, by the sacred geometry uh, in nature, um, the energy in nature and uh, the tribal communities, uh, the designs, the, the, the geometric designs in uh, in the uh, in the handlooms so these are all to together this uh, artwork i did it just recently so what happened was like i went to delhi on march and then uh, i i i went there for some work uh, printing and all um, and then in uh, april i went the second covid wave came, I got it. And I didn't realize it, you know, it, it happened and it was, uh, it was quite scary and uh, emotional away from home. Um, but uh, I didn't have a lot of symptoms apart from slightly mild fever. And then the, I, I lost my smell completely. And that was uh, something which I never experienced it before, um, you know, it, my nose was not blocked at all. Um, you know, it was open, but I could not smell anything for a couple of days, like three, four days. Um, but I recovered and then, the, I was planning to get back home and then I 
couldn't get back home. I lost two flight tickets. Um, it was very difficult because the COVID negative re result was coming very late because of the uh, number of uh, people who come for the test. But finally, I did a test in the airport and I came on the third attempt. Uh, so wh when I entered Manipur by flight, I saw Loktag Lake and I have seen it other times also. But this time, I know I, it was such an overwhelming emotional experience, you know. In my mind, you know, I thought like, this is home, like, I am home. <laughs> You know, uh, even now, you know, when, when when I talk about it, I feel very emotional because, uh, and and that I exp I express that in my work um, uh, to the work. Her eyes are green, and um, and I see Loktak Lake. It's 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 green and uh, it's so lush, and uh, it's magical. You know, I, and I wanted to capture that in this work, and everywhere I look around, I see the hills around my house also. So hills are uh, one important thing that I put here, and the and the gloves are uh, her gloves are moss green. Then I wanted to show the connection of ourself and the, uh, then and, and and the soil. You know, I feel that you know I am uh, my my body and my. Uh, my, you know, my, my, my physical body is made from the soil and water of this land. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I wanted to sh show that. And then, then I'm going back to the soil one day. <laughs> so this is about that work. And it's a very emotional work. Um, yeah, if you look deeper, I, and I took a lot of inspirations uh, here from the mushrooms that grow wild uh, lichens uh, that symbolize the the air quality which is clean uh, so a lot of elements the wild grass at the back uh, i always put wild grasses at the back of uh, the main character because i feel so deeply connected to the wild grasses i use it use it as a metaphor uh, like most of the time we are not aware of our surrounding we we don't ob observe we don't look but a small child will be very curious you know uh, the, the 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 child will look around they will pluck the grass you know look at the flower feel it smell it that's how we we, we learn and communicate uh, with nature um, as we grow older a lot of us get busy with our uh, responsibilities and other things so sometimes we are uh, out of touch with nature and we don't observe these little things like the wild grasses but as you look deeper you will find beauty uh, the geometric construction the uh, the golden ratio the mathematics it's so amazing you know it's the i mean it's it just inspires me so like that i feel you know a culture like ours which are uh, you know some sometimes invisible to a lot of pe pe people i want them to uh, go deeper and you know see what they can uh, find you know look at the beauty of that culture you know explore so that is the metaphor that i use uh, with the wild grass in mm -hmm. my work yeah Firstly, I am thankful for you to share about COVID and what you went through. Um, but you are okay now, right? Like everything yeah. is fine. Yeah, I'm absolutely okay. fine. Thank you. Yeah, and I know to many of our listeners, um, it's a very tough time right now where we have, you know, many people around who are who had gone through it or who are still going through it um so any message to them um you know for the ones who are going through it right now um it is really a difficult time really tough time people are going through um but i mean the, i'm so thank thankful to be surrounded by your loved ones uh, 
please take good care um and uh, it can be tough also to be at home all throughout um so maybe when the when it gets better um you know just walk around a bit when the, you know i i usually go to empty places to ride bicycle you know it just mm -hmm. helps me uh, but then sometimes people don't get that kind of place also um but uh, i just hope that things get better soon and uh, please take good care of your health uh, drink lots of water and take vitamin c uh, which is really good and uh, i'm also planning to get the covid vaccination done soon uh, i'm just waiting um, because they told me that uh, i should if if i was covid positive i should wait for some time so i would uh, encourage people to get vaccinated my parents got vaccinated and uh, they are doing uh, quite well and uh, um, just be mindful and careful when you go out <laughs> yeah, yeah thank you for the message yeah. and you know the idea is it's uh, right now we all know that uh, you know many people and all of us with all the news are going through this mental Yes. So, you know, let's be supportive of each other. And I know that we all can come out of it strongly. Um, secondly, you shared a little bit about, you know, you got COVID and I can definitely understand your state of mind at that time and also your strength. And then you came to Manipur and from the flight you saw Loktak Lake and the ranges of the hills. And when you spoke that, I had goosebumps. Hang on the two jumbada. Mm. And I feel the same every time I go back to Manipur and you see that, you know, from the light from the window, the beautiful picture of Loktak and then you, know, you feel like, okay, I'm home, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much for sharing that moment and then this uh, painting what you have done you know you have put a lot of thought because when I looked at it I was not really connecting on the mushroom because the necklace or rather that's what would design people, right people will think that oh it looks like some kind of necklace but now that you explained it, it it's a beautiful thought you had about nature and connecting and you know uh, even the glove what you uh, what you have explained so thank you so much and we really mm -hmm. did not speak about your medium and techniques so if you can share a little bit on on you know on your work on your medium and technique and that'll be very helpful for that. I, I use watercolor uh, most of the time, uh, but in the beginning, I when I used to work as an illustrator, I used to do a lot of digital work on computer. I, I, use, I, I used to use uh, Photoshop and then a pen tablet, um, this tablet and... Uh, and a mm -hmm. pen, you can see, mm -hmm. for digital illustrations. But uh, I, I am, I really enjoy with watercolor because I can feel it. Um, uh, you know, I feel the textures, I feel the transparency of the color. But something I like about watercolor is the transparency. I, I love to build in the pigments in layers. You know. And it can, uh, this paper can take a lots of color. So from very transparent wash to lay dif different, different layers, it can hold a lot of color. So, um, and then the, 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 the good thing is I like to work with a lots of lines from the beginning. So my line work is not covered. It's still there, but the color is also there superimposed on top. So mm -hmm. that was that's something I really like about watercolor. Somehow it just and also just by the look of it, uh, uh, it just connects me so deeply. Uh, you know the transparency, the luminance, um, the the intensity. Uh, when you look at the actual 
painting uh, it it just connects to me in a, uh, on a different level Beautiful. yeah <laughs> All right, so I want to explore a little bit uh, on your other work. So let me yeah. go back to your album. And uh, where do you want to start? Let's see. Should we start from the beginning? We can start. I know you have put, uh, you know, other pictures, and I want you to share a little bit on that. Oh, yeah, I can do that. You and your green hair. <laughs> Yeah, I love green. This was a picture taken by my friend. I really liked it. Uh, everything was green. So I I love this picture. So every time people ask uh, for my pic my picture to be featured, I, I choose this one because it's all green and I really love it. Yeah. Okay. And let's see. Next would be Sun, Sun Rainbow, the golden tortoise beetle. This insect uh, is um, it's it, it it holds a very significant uh, in my work um, as a as a person also because it really reminds us many of us my generation maybe also also the the, the generation before me of our childhood memories. Um, in my work, it symbolized the curiosity and fascination as a child. Um, so I use that uh, insect in my in a lot of my work. Even this painting, the color palette is inspired by that uh, insect, gold and shades of gold. Um, and when I shared online, also a lot of people across the world they were fascinated by this insect you know one time one of the one of the video that i posted it went viral um, i think uh, the forest one of the indian forest officers shared it on twitter and then it just went everywhere um, but the thing is you know there are a lot of things about manipur you know the it, it is one of the hot spot of biodiversity and we are not aware of it you know many of us like even me also in the in the beginning when i was home i was like okay i can i see this every day but when i was in delhi you know i see the difference and that makes me go back and 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 i when i look at it back home i look at it from a different perspective everything is beauty when i look now everything is beautiful and fascinating and inspiring um, but as a as a child because you get to see it every day you know it was a normal thing but so this is something delhi also <laughs> taught me about looking yeah. at things uh, you know what we have we should be aware of and you know a lot of people don't know about this and they are so precious you know I believe Manipur, the land of Jewel, is also called because of this. We have so much of richness, biodiversity, uh, the soil, the the water. Um, you know, it's so we are so gifted, but we have to value it. We have to, um, we have to. I think we can learn a lot from our indigenous culture. You know, uh, this is something which I'm seeing that the I'm seeing a decline or fading of this indigenous wisdom in the new generation. Um, you know, a lot of plastics are in Manipur now, lots of packets, drinking water. And the thing is, you know, but they just throw it everywhere, you know. Um, and the, the, the companies who make water bot bottles also, I really want them to take the initiative if possible to collect the bottles and then the, you know uh, recycle or do some some something with that i think that would be quite empowering um, we really you know uh, i mean i i love manipur so much um, and uh, i really want us to value what we have you know someday we might not have if we are not very careful about it you know yeah, so. <laughs> it's really beautiful. 
So for us to value, <clears throat> sometimes it takes us to get out to know the value, right? Like what Sony is saying, yeah. you walk and stand in the middle of, say, Delhi somewhere, and then you come and walk in Manipur, you feel the difference, not only in the ambience, but just, you know, breathing in the air. That is also different, right? And the nature yeah. is beautiful. My fear is like, I have seen the worst in Delhi. Um, I have seen the Yamuna River. It was near our university. There is the Yamuna Bank. Um, and then we used to go there for sketching and all. Um, but the smell is horrible. It it smells so bad. Uh, the water is dead. It's black. And thick froth are floating on top of the water. And, you know, like... I have left Manipur for about 12, 13 years. I came back, you know, and some of the rivers have turned black. I mean, and I'm really scared. I'm really concerned about that, particularly the Nambul River. They are doing initiative to clean up in the Imphal area. But if you look further down, you go down and see the mess. It's mm -hmm. filled with plastic bottles and the water is dead. It's it's black and it's smelling now, you know. Mm. I remember when I was a child, my grandmother used to go down to the river and she would collect um, the, what do you call the clams? Congreing uh, though. Mm -hmm. you know? She mm. would collect from the river. She would plant uh, she would collect the wild, uh, what is that, what is, what, what is that, the one we, we, we cook, you know, mm -hmm. those things now. Yelanga. Yeah, something. Uh, kengoi, kengoi. Ah, yelang kengoi, okay. Uh, yelang ke, ke, mm. kengoi, both of them. Um, so I still did, 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 did remember, you know, but now mm -hmm. when I look back, when, when, when I look at it, it's uh, it's changing and not for good. It's not changing for good, I and mean, I'm really concerned. The the that water is going to locked up, I believe, and um, it's really we have to be careful. We have to be mindful about this. Uh, but that's a different topic. Um, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, no, but that was nice for you to bring it up because what we are saying is that we have seen better version in terms of nature. And so now that, you know, you see that there are more plastics, it is not nurtured, you know, the water is becoming black, it is getting smelly, who will maintain it, right? At the end yeah. of the day, each individual is responsible. We have to be, yeah. Or, yes, we cannot say, oh, the government is not cleaning. No, mm -hmm. I don't think that's fair, right? It is you, your locality. We have to be mindful and mm -hmm. aware on how we each can step up. Um, I know it's a different topic and someday, you know, we can get together. One and, one yes. advice uh, I, I learned from... Uh, from my friends who, who are non-Indian, uh, who are from Germany, from Korea, um, from the U U U U U U U USA, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I learned to put my trash in my bag. When I go out, I, I don't throw it on the way. We I used to throw it in the beginning when I was when when I was young, I used to just throw everything, you know, I would eat. Uh, tips or I would drink a bottle of coke and then I would just throw it on on the way but I don't think you know who will pick that up you know something that I learned from my friends is like you know they would just put it in the bag and then the later when we reach home I will just put it in a dustbin or any if I find any dustbin on the way I'll put it there I will not just throw it you know I you know without concern you know like i would just put it in my bag and i think that's a little thing we all could do um, as our contribution 
if you if we really love our home our, our hometown you know that's a little thing we can do yeah, yeah together absolutely. like you know like sony said some of these things i don't know why i guess we were not taught <laughs> right when you were small you didn't think about all this and you would just throw it all around and now it's become too much but now that yeah. we know you know we should, if we instill it small things like what you are saying right like it is really going to help so yeah, yeah. absolutely thank you okay so let's continue on your <laughs> album because there are so many beautiful pictures and i want to make sure that we go through it so I'm going to pick the next one, which is nature. It's my inspiration. And as I go on, you can continue on your uh, commentary and share. It. Yeah, these are the pictures that, that I keep collecting. I just click picture wherever, whenever I, I, I find some inspiration as an artist. I, I would tell all the young artists also to, you know, just be aware, just be aware observe you know observe and listen uh, you know uh, so that really helps me open up uh, and find my inspirations uh, there's a lot of things to learn from nature so i use these elements in my work yeah we we'll just go next and uh, this is also one of the inspirations i look at the de the designs of uh, this particular one is the passion fruit flower flower and uh, it's so otherworldly when i look at it it's so fascinating the designs are so intricate you know as an artist i observe all these things and uh, these are mysterious really this also likens uh, a lot of, i use that in a lot of my work Lichens uh, tells you that uh, uh, the air quality is good over there. They don't go grow when the air is polluted. Uh, this is my friend Vibash. Um, I clicked the picture um, when we went to Ukrul Hills. Uh, so like that, I, these are some of the inspirations. I keep clicking pic pictures of nature hills any moments uh, you know and later i use it as a ins inspiration in my work this was uh, this was at an artist re residency at uh, woodstock school masuri i just wanted to share um, yeah this is beautiful so how do you choose your size of your art so uh, if, I, if when i make particularly for exhibitions i like to make a slightly bigger one um, but to support myself to sell i make smaller ones uh, you know smaller affordable ones yeah like that this uh, was so art for change or, or organizations uh, they are based in new delhi i work closely with them uh, i'm in touch with them uh, art for change they they also work on the, they they support the artists and they work on themes like social issues and nature about human dignity about the role of art in our society yeah yeah so you yeah thank you for sharing that so you said you know you choose big size when you know that you there is an exhibition coming on but for the purpose of um commission work you do smaller but what do you as an artist you know enjoy you know painting is it big or is it small um I I enjoy both, but I think um, it's it it gives me more thrill when I when I work on a bigger scale. It just yeah. has a different ener energy, and the impact is also different. Uh, you know, just for myself also. Um, 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I, 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 I'm also exploring on different sides. And one day yeah. I just wanted to paint, you know, big. And I went to mm -hmm. the store and I got the biggest canvas I saw, <laughs> which was 48 by 48. Oh, wow, that's very big. <laughs> <laughs> and I just felt the experience when I was painting that size was so different and that's why i was asking like what do you feel right like you know when you yeah big size and small size when i work on small size it look uh i i feel okay you know okay and you know i feel i feel good but when i make a big size and then go back to small you know that's the challenge part <laughs> you know you look at it and then you don't feel that much <laughs> you know like um I don't know. Somehow, when it shrunk, uh, it it has a very different <laughs> impact. So, yeah. yeah. But then, it, it big size takes a lot of time because yeah. of the detail work. Um, yeah. So, for exhibitions, it's good. But uh, if I want to produce more work in a short time, then I uh, then I would go for a small size yeah. artwork, and um, I need to sell the artwork also. So, and particularly right now during the pandemic, um, the big size, it's the most difficult to sell and also to ship. It's yeah. quite a challenge. So the smaller, the better. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah. So how long did it take? I know that this is a very, um, you know, you wouldn't have- um, The small size pattern. like, yeah, the small size like the A3 or A2, it takes, about uh, minimum two days to a week um, but then I don't sit throughout the day I sit for some time and then I would enjoy other things I go to the garden or uh, I play with the dogs um, I would I, I sleep in the af afternoon take a break like that <laughs> and then I, I go back to the paintings for some time so uh, it can take a longer time but a small size between two days to a to to a week big size it can take a mm, couple of weeks um three three four weeks i mm -hmm. think a month or can be more <laughs> okay got it all right um so when is the time you love painting is it morning night day i love I the morning time like when morning. my mind is fresh I like to work and then I also like to work for some time in the afternoon or uh, uh, yeah, afternoon post two o'clock. I like to work. Um, I, I like to take a short nap, you know, I, it refreshed my brain. <laughs> then I will sit and then uh, work for some time. I don't like to work at night. It, it hurts my eyes. But some of my friends, they like to work at night with the lamp. Um, but personally, I don't like working at night. Got yeah. it. OK, so I'm going to go back to our album. And OK, tell me about this picture. My little brother and my father at the solo exhibition in Imphal. This was my first solo exhibition in Imphal. I think it was in 2016 or 17. I don't remember exactly. Uh, yeah, must be 2016, I guess. This was the first solo show, and uh, uh, it was a good re response. Um, I get to interact with a lot of young artists um, and those who want to become professional artists also. Um, yeah, the response was very good. It's not that uh, people don't support art here. I mean, people enjoy it. It's, it's just that uh, there are not so much um, opportunities like this that happen. So we have to begin. So this was the first solo show. And my parents was also quite proud. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so. It was a good experience. I just wanted to share it here. <laughs> yeah, no, it's absolutely a great moment for an artist, you know, particularly yeah. the first solo show. 
So this painting is a digital artwork. Um, the the third girl is inspired by my sister. She she is very unconventional, and uh, you know I I believe we can educate people also from our experience as a child. You know there are a lot of things um, we didn't like as a kid when people judge us for the way we are, um, for the way we p perform in different subjects. Um, so I believe that um, as a as a parents as a society, we need to look at the unique giftings of a child and then push them in that direction in which they are much more connected to. Uh, so the different child are uh, every child are different in their own unique ways and no one is better than the others. They, they, they have a different timeline. They have a different way to communicate. Um, there is a lot to learn as a society together on this, I believe so. So which one out of these three beautiful girls, which one did you think was your sister in this the thing. third one the third one playing the foot, football, football. <laughs> yeah that's so sweet okay i didn't uh and this is the first time i'm knowing about that connection what is the she, name of sister? yeah she's a bit tomboyish uh so she 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 likes football and she likes um she likes to uh, play anything that boys play you know so and that's okay you know nobody should judge any child or any person for who they are and who they are, uh, who they, what they want to, uh, you know, their their hobbies or anything, you know, they are u unique in their own ways. So this was something, and my sister really liked it. What is your sister's name? Uh, Chanbi. Chanbi. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. So have a brother artist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she she is somebody who connects, uh, who I connect uh, better, um, because she was also away from home for a long time, and uh, um, we share our uh, conversation. Uh, anything you know, we 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 are more connected. I think we understand each other than the you know. So I I really support her. Nice, very nice. This painting uh, it was made for the, uh, the breast cancer awareness uh, uh, month. So it's called "I'm am st still beautiful and st strong." So again, uh, this is to educate and send awareness to our. Society on how they view uh, women's breast and uh, uh, you know all the taboos and it's 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 stigma attached to the breast cancer. A lot of times people don't come out uh, for the fear of uh, judgment and all these things. Um, but we need to talk about it and we need to share so so that uh, it's not too late for somebody uh, to to get the treatment and yeah yeah it's beautiful i i love the way you have presented um, yeah this was done in 2016 or mm -hmm. winden again yeah, yeah. Work. You know, this is the painting where you can see and when, where you can feel the energy. And as you move your eyes around, you know, you can see the scar and then the strength and beauty coming out, right? So I, I love it. I'm still beautiful and strong. Yeah, the dandelion she's ho 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 holding is the one that is flying around. So it's like sending out the, the message the seed mm -hmm. in people's heart. Beautiful.
<laughs> the wedding of my BFF. <laughs> this painting. <laughs> now, when I look at it, I, I, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I really, you know, like it was fun. But now I, I, I think um, it's okay to to me. <laughs> it's an old work, but uh, a lot of people still like this work and. Uh, at that time, uh, it went viral. It went everywhere. A um, lot of people shared it, and and I think all because of this painting, also I realized, you know, art can impact um, the our, our society, um, ourselves. Um, I have seen a lot of people back home who breaks the, the conventional way, you know, and they were imitating this uh, the, this pose back home. I have seen a couple of photo okay, photographs. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them yeah. call it the Sony Tok Chong pose, uh, uh -huh. and then they do it. So um, it's quite interesting. Um, I think it's quite empowering also for the young women, um, you know, yeah. So you you said that when you saw this picture today, you said, oh, you know, when I painted, I thought it was great. But now I look at it, I think it's OK. So when you said that, I see that you have grown as an artist in your own eyes in terms of yeah. your work. Uh, that's beautiful. And also, I love it, right? Sometimes when we see painting, um, to bring out that casual fun moment right? yeah. so I see in this and uh, it's uh, really uplifting. Uh, you know, you have this painting in your room. It adds to that character of, you know, fun and uh, in a casual True. way, um, which in many paintings, sometimes, you know, you tend to convey like deep meaning or things like that. So yeah, I love it. Right. <laughs> also, like you said, right, like, you know, people uh, connected to it and, you know, when they go for a wedding, posing this and posting it in Instagram or social media, that's kind of uh, fun. Yeah. <laughs> so who did you, like, who are the people whom you where thinking in your mind the the, the middle one uh, she looks a bit like lynn lystrom jay lynn lynn lystrom um, <laughs> i i really liked her um, i think i i like the way she looked also so i had her in my mind when i painted her and the other two girls um, they are uh, non manipuri friends you know like i i have a lot of friends who who are from different parts of the world and so I imagine them to explore our culture and, you know, just be there on somebody's wedding and, you know, just enjoying the moment like that. So um, people may misunderstand the, the two girls on the side. Uh, they, they are not Manipuri, but they are wearing traditional dress. Yeah, Manipuri no, dress. absolutely beautiful. And to Lynn, hopefully you'll be watching our show. Uh, now that I know the inspiration behind, um, we would want to see a picture of you when you get married in this pose. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> right? So, somebody please tag her, uh, you know, at this moment. And um, this is really nice to know that because I was like thinking, hmm, who is this person, right? Sony is painting. <laughs> and really thoughtful, like, you know, to see that non-Manipuri, uh, you know, wearing Manipuri dress, uh, which again, like, is a message in itself. So awesome. <laughs> all right. Shoot. Yeah, this is also an older work. Um, so these all are from the same period, like the wedding of my BFF, then hmm. shoot love, you know, it was loud and on the right on the face and you know like should love no bullet uh, mm -hmm. rebellious and uh, you know unconventional like the short potloy and all uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> it was uh, it was it can be shocking to some older generation but i think it connects you a lot of the young pe 
pe pe pe people <laughs> and the idea is about uh, love and kindness uh, right. and em embracing who we are and also accept other people around us uh, and be positive mm -hmm. open minded right so you spoke about you know maybe the younger generations are more open to such art right but did you mm -hmm. or do you get any criticism on hey you know why are you making the polo short or you know uh, not you... on this one um but uh, but the previous work waiting of my bff mm -hmm. um i i have seen you know our um, our manipur sometimes we have people who would download pictures of women or artwork mm -hmm. and then they would comment on it and they then they would ask for pe people's opinion like you know mm -hmm. um like so they had the misunderstanding you know they were saying oh why did he make the mainland mm -hmm. people who don't look like uh, maita mm -hmm. is you know so uh, and then like how could he make uh, how could he change uh, our, our culture you know which is um, with how can a women uh, do like this make faces on the wedding day you know things like that it happened but uh, it it was only few and you no know, negative criticism were only few and uh, it was more positive uh, feedbacks not just from manipur but from uh, all around um, okay. a lot of pe people uh, from other parts of uh, india they really like the work I, and i have sold a lot of prints of this work mm, got it all right so moving on chai break <laughs> Yeah, this is about the culture of Delhi. Uh, this artwork was again done in another artist residency with uh, Art for Change. Um, this is a little bit about uh, the culture of Delhi, where um, we like we make a lot of friends in Delhi. Uh, people who come from different cultures, and we become like a family home away from home you know they, they they become very important to us and we support each other we become like a community but uh, very colorful so i wanted to share that and a lot of times in the in the in college also we share a cup of chai uh, you know this cutting they call it the, the cutting chai in their class <laughs> yes, we share yes, and we don't awesome. mind i love that you chose that glass yeah Every element so, what I see in your art, you know, you have thought about it thoroughly um, in terms of colors, in terms of, you know, what you want to convey. So that's so beautiful. And now that some of the additional context you are adding, uh, it yeah. makes it even more beautiful for me to see your painting. I just love the... Uh multi-culture uh, in Delhi, uh, particularly in South Delhi. I love the network there. A uh, lot of art artists, musicians, um, lots of uh, everybody is young and uh, we are pushing boundaries, uh, you know, in our own way, <laughs> non-conventional way. So we really connect and we have a lot of good friends uh, in, in New, New Delhi who are uh, very supportive we are very supportive to one another so that's the beauty yeah, home away from home you know it's showing that uh, love and integrity you know with different people and at the end of yeah. the day it's not about you know your own group or your own ethnic group it's the love you share right so that's so beautiful so who did yeah. you think about uh, in this um, no one else in particular I just made it uh, many times because I I have drawn a lot of faces um, now I just uh, sketch it out and you know some faces comes out like that a lot of my new series also I don't take any reference of the faces it just 
comes out and they all look kind of similar also because it comes from i think my conscious my subconscious mind so they kind of look like sisters or brothers and sisters they have some similarity in in them um, so no one in particular for 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 this too okay so what i'm hearing is all the paintings what you have done so far for some you did have you know somebody in mind but mm. you don't have like a picture reference for that person but it's all from your mind yeah yeah wow that's awesome so the thing is like it has been a long journey to develop my own um own unique art st st style um so it just comes out you know and the uh, and also yeah. that makes it consistency um i enjoy painting like that way just without thinking about mm -hmm. the, the final re re result actually i would have a rough idea in my mind um but uh, the, the the final outcome can be slightly different the process i find it important and it's fun um when i want to balance you know certain colors that i thought that i would use but it didn't work you know sometimes i have to make the background a little bit darker you know like that you know uh, it it just fun to play how to balance the composition yeah and another thing i wanted to ask is how do you decide on the hairstyle that's one thing i love about the book <laughs> that you come up with very nice hairstyle of the you know woman you paint and it's so awesome right so let me zoom it out and look at um, look at many of this art the first one yeah <laughs> Yeah, so the first one which we spoke about, right? Like, you know, the hairstyle. You look at that. You look at this lady, you know, the hairstyle. So how do you decide on the hairstyle? The, um, I, I like fashion. Uh, I observe a lot. Um, and uh, Delhi also, again, it's quite fashionable. Um, mm -hmm. I have met a lot of friends who you know who who believe in expressing you know uh, their ex expressing in their own unique ways without thinking of judgment or without thinking about oh i want to be like that person not like that but i want to express it my own unique way like this so i have a lot of friends i have met a lot of people in my art circle which who just push the boundaries of uh, any limitation so the creativity creative flow is there and um yeah i think a lot of people my friends circle they inspired me um yeah there in the in the in 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 my friend circle the thing is like everybody likes to be unique in their own way they don't want to look like somebody else they, they, they want to like for example i like to dye my hair green you know so it's just my personal this thing that you know i i'm i'm not going to dye my hair with uh, uh, red color or blonde because somebody else is is coloring and i like it you know like that but i like to express yeah no absolutely beautiful right so when we see the elements of your art, you know, I just wanted to bring the attention of our viewer and listeners on how you are merging fashion, right, and fine art and freedom. Mm -hmm. Most importantly, mm -hmm. I think for me, um, what you convey is the freedom and the identity of self, you know, yeah. whatever you are, and that is what you are. And you're celebrating it and that's what i love about your art so beautiful yeah <laughs> yeah so i i i i like natural uh, skin textures i like natural skin tones you know when i was young i 
I and all my friends, you know, we used to feel very insecure about our ourselves, the way we look. Like for example, my eyes are small. You know, like people would make fun of me when I was a child. Mamit kui yedu tau yeki kai na kuchu move, you know, because he's dark like that. Um, but now it's I'm over with that. I am, uh, you know, I have crossed that, and I I see beauty in every skin color, every hair texture, whether it's uh, it's silky straight or it's curly, whether it's some other color. If you have freckles, if you have uh, vitiligo, I find beauty in the in our difference and our unique identity. Um, this is something that I want to uh, empower the youth also to be confident about who they are, um, you know, because re recently I come across an article about a lot of uh, youth who are going for plastic s s surgery to make them look more Aryan or Caucasian, like that. Um, I mean, for, for some, it can be uh, healing from their past trauma, and some for some, it can build their confidence. But um, there are challenges also, and it, it the if this this surgery may go wrong also. Mm -hmm. But uh, I just want them to see beauty in themselves and. Uh, yeah, this is something I learned again in Delhi with my friend circle. A lot of my friends, uh, women friends, they don't wear makeup also. They are just bare. And uh, the beauty is their confidence. And I am really inspired by that also. Yeah. <laughs> so my friends, like Delhi gave no, me a lot of things so also. Good. You know, um, when I came to the show, today's show, um, I was thinking more on art, but what I'm finding in our conversation today, it's really about life and love and freedom, most importantly, freedom and identity of self. And it's so <laughs> beautiful for me to listen to your thoughts. Um, so absolutely enjoying that. And, you know, just to get back to your point on, you know, when people say to you as a child right mm -hmm. uh, the, um, in Manipur we are talking about the context of Manipur right we have yeah. said about racism when we face outside but let's look in Manipur it's still like a context in Manipur right also right money yeah, exactly. and then uh, yeah, so all this actually adds to you know the confidence of a child, hmm. right? And so what you are conveying in your art is whatever you are, it is you and accepting hmm. yourself, right? So love it. It's so beautiful. I hope that many of you are listening and you find the beauty in your own self. Hmm. You find self-worth, right? Hmm. And, and then the self-confidence will build up and that's how you carry. It's not so much on the external beauty, right? It is the yeah. confidence you carry that makes your personality. Love it. True. Absolutely. And uh, I wanted to share a work that I am uh, painting right now on okay. this con con context. Just quickly. Yeah, sure. Yeah, and to all our listeners, um, you know, do continue um, uh, your comment and questions. Okay. May I'm giving you money for the ngang ngang ohay po si may I'm happy here to ako dito. <laughs> International can you give a view of you in a common way in English? So, okay. yeah, this painting, I, I want to call it awakening. Awakening, yeah, 
Awakening is about, uh, again, on the same topic about finding ourselves, find beauty in ourselves, in, in the people around us, in the things around us. You know, we are not aware. We are not aware. We are only following the mass. You know, the company, you know, one company is selling that, okay, you have to look like this. You have, your skin should be white. Bollywood, Korean uh, shows, they are selling product worldwide. Korean beauty products are everywhere. They're selling. They have to make money. And it's, it's, it's like that. Um, for us, we don't see it that way. You know, We want to look like them. Mm. And we don't see the beauty in ourselves. So I really want to show beauty in a, you know, I will be sharing the work soon. Yeah, that's beautiful. And uh, this is quite, uh, the skin is dark, freckles, but the design is uh, futuristic, modern. Um, so, no, love yeah, it. this is the way to uh, communicate. I want to see when you posted Awakening. Yeah. Um, so keep doing what you are doing with all your ideas and concepts. Okay, I'm gonna go back to your art and let you um, comment on it. Love is the answer. Love is the answer. So this painting, I uh, I did it uh, in I think in 2019, the beginning of 2019, when there there was a huge uh, issues, uh, protests, uh, protest, uh, and also the lockdown in the entire K K Kashmir. So I was teaching in the, in Jamia Mascom, and we had a, we have lots of uh, students and colleagues from Kashmir, you know, our country was changing and then it was pain everywhere. Um, that's the reason also why I used the color red pain and also the, the intensity of the situation. Lots of hate, uh, uh, also uh, lots of hate on the Muslim com community during the time of the, uh, uh, that, so um, a lot of our K Kashmiri uh, st st students and uh, and and colleagues could not contact their their family and you know they were really worried about them and so we share uh, they share with us and um, we 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 support them in whichever way we we could financially or any other way. So it was a really difficult time. That was the time I made this painting. Love is the answer. So uh, I have made two, uh, three figures over here. One is inspired by the North Indian culture. The middle one is a little bit mixed, um, both Northeastern and South. South India, I have used inspiration from. And the right one is, 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 uh, is inspired by Kashmiri. So I have put it the rainbow the bangles she's wearing in the in the in the middle is to show the diversity the diversity of culture and you know light white light is is composed of seven colors and if you remove one color then it's no longer white light anymore and it mm -hmm. will be it will come towards darkness. So I want to show that. And also the hand symbolism is, uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's um, uh, what do you call, it? it's, a sign, it's a sign language. We love like that. Mm. It's, it, it's we, you know, one, two, mm -hmm. three. So it's called mm. one, two, three. Mm. We, 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 it's, 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 it stands for love, you know, she's doing this also, little heart, mm -hmm. the middle one. Mm -hmm. So we and love, okay. like that. <laughs> so because the thing is like, 
many of the voices were mute. You know, people could mm -hmm. not talk. So the only way is to show through sign language. So that was the thing in the back of my mind. You know, okay. many people could not raise their voice and uh, during that time. Yeah, so that's the power of art, right? Like showing what you think through that and how um, you understand from the art, like what you're trying to convey and also representing beyond what they went through. Yeah. Um, this is another tea break. You can skip this. I just put it uh, just yeah. to no, show them. Not. Yeah, I love the size. Sometimes I like uh, pictures which artists put it out, you know, with people in it because that let you really see how big the size is and, you know, love it. Yeah. I, I just put it there. The Thank passion. you. This is tea break <laughs> again. Another tea break with uh, different. Uh, with two girls who are friends from different community, the the right side is a uh, is a uh, Mete woman. The other one is Assamese. Yeah, and I love the flower choice you have. Um, I don't remember the name. What we call yeah, it. but again, it's a it's a childhood symbolism. We used to play with this flower. Yeah. Uh, both boys and girls, they used to play with these flowers to make rings, and so right. both the both the ladies are wearing the flower as a as a ring on their hand. Yes, yes, I love this flower. Psychosis. Psychosis, also a recent work again, the online artist residency with art for change foundation so um, this piece talk about mental health um so 20 to 20 from the time the pandemic began the lockdown happened and um a lot of mental health issues rise up it was there but it was more during the lockdown period people People were not used to uh, to, to to be indoor, so mm -hmm. uh, and many of the people who live in the cities um, they were isolated and disconnected from uh, from their friends, and we all you know it was a really difficult time. So that is when we did the artist residency to talk about mental health because mental health as a topic we don't discuss it so openly in our society uh, even here also because of the taboos um, mm -hmm. like but the important thing is to talk about it share awareness educate people and you know so so that people uh, get uh, treatment and consult doctors. So this particular piece was inspired by my own journey, not me, me who experienced psychosis, but my mother. So the, the, during the lockdown, I, I realized my mother had uh, schizophrenia. So um, the doctor never told us about it, but from the symptoms, I, I know that it is schizophrenia or schizophrenic. Uh, sim symptoms. Mm -hmm. So she would visually hallucinate and she would hear the neighbors talking about her. You know, she think that the neighbors are spying against her and talking bad things about her. They are going to harm her, things like that. So that uh, thing, but now she is fine. She, she takes the medications uh, on time and then now she's... Uh, she is absolutely fine, but there is no there is no cure for 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 this particular uh, illness. She has to take medications all the most of the time, and psychosis may happen any time, any period. Right. So, yes. Thank you for coming mental health just excuse me my our, our dogs are barking so much i'll just tell them how they are yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
So mental health, as you, you know, many of our listeners also may relate to it. We have seen it in our life, in our family, in close, uh, you know, around us. Uh, so thank you nice. for, yeah, so thank you for bringing it up because it is an important topic which impacts many in Manipur, particularly I have seen that um, it is using drugs, also the conflict, right? So we see a lot of mental health issue in and around Manipur. So mm -hmm. you know, thank you for sharing it on your personal experience also. But to mm -hmm. your point, it is about acknowledging that, yes, there is mental health issue and help. Because when you then you can... Hey, boy. Sorry, <laughs> I, because I could not he yeah, hear yeah. anything at the bark. <laughs> so what is the name of the dog? Um, Hanubi. Hanubi. Hanubi <laughs> also wants to be a part of our show. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Uh, yeah. So mental health uh, is really important to talk about in Manipur because many people misunderstood. Uh, is now in our in. I am cannot tell we treatment, to be the Matam Chana, I don't see so irreversible oiba at my in my mother's case, she took the medications on time. And uh, I was thankfully I was also here at home. Um so I could support her. But for me also, it was really, really challenging uh, during that time because uh, it was tough because she would not communicate with anybody. You know, she believed what she's exper experiencing is true and uh, yeah. she was not convinced with anybody at all. It was, it felt like I'm talking to a rock. She was mm -hmm. not listening at all. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you can't tell her that you know uh, what you what you are hearing or smelling, sometimes experiencing is is illusion. She would not believe it because she is experiencing it. She is seeing it. She is smelling things like she could smell kerosene or something foul. Um, she feels something crawling on the on the skin. Um, and then she she sometimes thinks that she got some divine intervention. You know, she feels like you know the God is giving her power uh, to see things, things like that. So I just wanted to put it in a positive way in this artwork. How a person who is going through psychosis, so there is a window at the back of him. The window has turned wavy. You know, that is the beginning of uh, the psychosis. Inside the window is like inside our mind. Outside, outside the window is the world. The world is flourishing because of the pandemic. A world as in the nature. Nature is flour flourishing uh, because of least interaction with the human being. But inside, in, in in inside the window, which is inside our mind, things were going in a rough way. But also like. You know, the person is like playing a game, you know, he is like the main character, he, he is the hero, he has to fight and he has to win the the battle. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, a, a lot of elements, if I explain, uh, it, would, it would take a lot of time, but I have put a lot of symbolism in this work. What is, I'm curious about the bird. The bird has a human mouth. So some sometimes the bird when when they hear the sound of bird also they can the mind can interpret like people are talking. That can happen. Uh, so I, I put the bird with the human mouth over there. Um, and then there, there there is a spider on the chest. Yeah. yeah. And and the spider has a smiley face. So a lot of um, uh, mix of 
re, you know the unreal things are mixed with the reality so the mind can't decide um and there there is a symbolism of the neck the 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 green color uh ribbon is the symbolism uh for mental health and the uh the chemical molecular is structure that i put is the serotonin uh, molecular mm -hmm. structure um so our the chemicals in our brain can can control a lot of our thoughts and uh, you know how we process so when the chemical gets imbalanced then the, it can mess up things and then you can start to experience unreal things uh, v visual hallucinations sounds smell and feeling you know it and it feels so real so it's all the chemicals so when you take the medications it controls the the chemicals so that helps mm -hmm. no absolutely yeah. i'm like um if you didn't tell me i think the context of course from the name of the painting you can kind of study and feel like what are you trying to convey right um yeah. and when you're saying you know during the COVID time um because many people are struggling with mental health that is where you got inspired but there are a lot of deep thoughts which have gone into it and i think it is very important personally for myself and also to many in manipur because like i said we have people in our family in people who are in very close quarter where we have seen akwina manipuri dana chingna bagi laina haise chingna bagi si we have seen lots right like you're yes, talking about suspicion and i think all of us can relate to that so first of all i think you are breaking the norms of manipur by speaking it out sharing your own experience of your mother so thank you so much and to everybody who are listening you know like sony we have to be empowered uh, we should not be in the behind the closet talking badly about people but it's mm -hmm. about awareness it's about acknowledging and it's about taking help when you take the medication you see that there is you know improvement that the person can yeah. lead a normal life so thank you yeah. thank you right moving on <laughs> I love this painting. I love how you have shown, you know, the haufi. Yeah. It is, it's so yeah, beautiful. This, this paint, painting was the, uh, I think the first painting of the Growing Wild series. Um, I have been to Ukrul and a lot of uh, things from Ukrul have inspired for this piece. Uh, the lichens on on her chest, they they become like a fashion is is statement. Um, so it's like you know you are closely connected to nature. The air is clean, and uh, um, I have also used the black uh, black rock uh, cup numbi pot, and then the the numbi cup, um, and then there is a medicinal plant that. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. It's coming out from the cup. So um, we have a lot of things which are uh, which, which has a medicinal value. Um, there is a the sundrim bee beetles on her hand, uh, and of course the hills at the back. Um, so this growing wild series have lots of wild grasses, nature inspired designs hills but also in a very avant-garde uh, fashion uh, i i wanted to experiment a little bit with that uh, uh, <laughs> just to yeah. be uh, unique it's called chingya <laughs> yeah chingya mm -hmm. so chingya uh, also the 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 word chingya in 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 tankul it means peaceful calm calmness so 
so I have friends who whose name uh, are Chingya, okay. and also in 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 the Maitailon, uh, it's also Chingya is the uh, it's also the hills uh, or, or close to the hills. That's interesting. So in Tankul language, in Tankul, Tankul dialect, Chingya means peace. Yeah, peaceful, calm, uh, peaceful, peaceful calm. calm, calmness, like that. Oh, that's so beautiful. <laughs> okay, and this, we spoke about it, Lok Tak Lake in my eyes. Remember me when the wild grasses bloom. So this is a, this is a painting um, inspired by Delhi and the natural wild forest or parks in Delhi. Um, although um, it's not the same like how we have here, um, a lot of the parks are man-made and uh, uh, the feel can not be the same like back home, but it's it's really uh, nice and peaceful to be there uh, in between in the you know like the city is very busy so there's a lot of temple also and at the back we our uh, apartment is quite close to the lotus temple and there are parks uh, near nearby and i love to go um to to the area where not a lot of people go you know where lots of wild grasses are grow are gr growing wild and i find peace over there you know sometimes i just sit there and then contemplate so um just wanted to capture that kind of energy in in this p painting mm -hmm. sometimes when you miss home uh, you you miss n nature and you go to park and just reconnect with the nature over there mm -hmm. Ningthau Turel. Ningthau Turel. Um, Ningthau Turel is also uh, from the new collection. Um, so basically, here the 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 costumes are inspired by the sacred geometry in nature and also the different uh, the different tribal handlooms. I mix a lot of things, not just one. Um, even the hair, hair st style of the father is very uh, tribal inspired. Um, so the Ningtho Turel in uh, is a is a Maitailon word, uh, which I which I found out from from online. There are lots of old Manipuri words which are not used anymore but I find it so deep and meaningful. Ningtho Turel as a word, Ningtho Turel is actually the Milky Way that we see above. So I'm connecting the Milky Way here as a reference to like, we all life form are, come from the comet, our the elements of our being, uh, the uh, nitrogen, oxygen, everything comes from the comet. So basically it comes from the Milky Way. And also we are in the Milky Way. So the father is telling the child that you are uh, the, you are from Ningtho Turel. Ningtho is the king, the king's river. So for a child, when you look up in this sky, it's a fascinating, you know, it's you know the the milky way galaxy is you can't reach it but you know it's it's a king's river so when the father tells the child that you are from the king's river then that makes him a prince so you are a prince you come from the milky way you are important uh, wherever you go wherever you travel <clears throat> people may be kind to you people may be uh, uh, hateful or People may be unkind to to you, but you remember who you are as a person. You know, it is something like that. So the father, like I really wish, when we grow up, that our 
uh, our, our parents, because we also have a communication gap, yes. um, a lot of because culturally we have a communication gap. So I wish that, uh, you know, we, we when we were a child, our parents or any other uh, se senior relative to encourage and motivate us that you are precious, you are important, uh, you are gifted, um, we love you, you know, all these uh, motivations, we need that, uh, you know. So I just wanted to share, you know, it really helps uh, in our self-confidence -con and also the for the relationship within ourselves. So yeah. this is the father telling the child that you are from the King's Diddy River, you are prince, you are important, you know, like that. <laughs> yeah. It's about the self worth and belief instilled, right? So what I'm hearing you say is, you know, maybe some of this things which comes very deep from your heart is from what you wanted, but maybe did not get it, you know? Yeah. So to me, I also definitely 100% agree with you that when we grew up, we could have used more motivation. We could have yeah. used more uh, nurturing. We could have used mm -hmm. more self-worth, right? Um, because now that we, it's not, we are not saying we know everything, but we know for sure that inspiration, motivation, people believing in you, people believing in what you want to do, right? Like your choice of art. That is yeah. important for the person, mm -hmm. for the person's confidence. Uh, so I really love the message, what you're trying to give in this art. And also to our listener, I just uh, want to share that finding the voices, believe in aligning self with what you want to achieve. And we believe in love, peace, and harmony. So as I'm also going through the journey of finding the voices, I realize the gap, the gap of um, motivation, the gap of um, self-worth. So we have been having workshop uh, in a safe environment. Uh, I call it finding yourself. It's a high achiever group and we meet as a group and we talk about what we are struggling and how we can grow as a person. So I just wanted to uh, share it with our listeners that if you are struggling, questioning yourself, then we have a safe group where you can come join us, share. And, you know, what Sony is saying is that um, we could use, we could use a lot of this motivation and self-worth. So thank you. Oh my God, all your artwork is so inspiring with all the, <laughs> you know, which is filled with your deep thought and message. Thank you. Quick question on this art. Uh, I love the, the expression. I love, the, you know, the innocence, what you have captured in this little child. Is there anyone... Um, I know that you said it was from your subconscious mind, but I had to ask in this particular child's face, did you have anybody in mind? Not exactly, but when I look at it, I think it, uh, uh, the child looks a little bit like my brother when he was small. Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> but it again. So well, it is so like you can see the innocence in the child um, and I can really see it coming out you know, alive, like from, from my screen. So I can't imagine like waiting to see the real life. Also for our listeners, um, sometimes we think, right, when we see art in digital format, uh, it is good, but I have to share that, you know, to everybody who are art lover, you have to, we have to see art in the original form. So I, yeah. I'm waiting, you know, someday, somewhere, I would love to see your art uh, in the original form because there is this beauty and energy and, you know, um, 
And I hope that someday we have a big uh, museum where all the beautiful art I have seen uh, from you, from other artists from Manipur, you can just walk yeah. in and see and sit in front of the art and you know, absorb that energy. Um, so what do you think like about, you know, seeing art in digital format and going and seeing it, you know, in life? Uh, what is your experience? It's a huge difference uh, in the, when you when you look at it on uh, on your phone or uh, yeah. on uh, on a digital format, um, you don't actually capture the soul. It becomes a copy of the work. You know? But when you yeah. when you look at the actual work that is the, you know that has the soul to it, you know um, the digital one is just a copy and image of the work. You know, so it doesn't have the soul. Um, it it might give some information about the work. It might tell you a bit about the work, but that's not the work. Um, the original is the work which has the soul, um, the colors, the uh, you know, the feel. Everything is uh, very different. The details, um, the pigments also. It's the the digital don't do any justice to the colors. I invest a lot of. Uh, my uh, money and you know energy on on finding the right pigments also um it has been a journey so when you look at the actual work the pigments is very rich and uh, very lifelike yeah absolutely and you know more than i think the technical aspect of painting for me i just find that energy very different you know when True. i go to a museum and mm. uh, that's one thing which I would not have known if I had not explored museum. And now, mm -hmm. even though I see it right digitally, if I really mm -hmm. love that work and that work is calling me. And even mm -hmm. if, you know, as an art lover, now I want to add more and more trips to museums and yeah. places where I can see art because there is this beauty of that energy which you can feel what the artist has done and if you really yeah. like you know tune out you feel it and you yeah. know I, I love that so yeah i want to come and see your art somewhere somehow absolutely i, I would love <laughs> yeah i would love that yeah i i absolutely believe about the energy because um mm -hmm. when when the artist work on a painting he put all his, his or her their and energy to the work and because of that the art piece has the soul yes. so even when the for example the Mona Lisa painting or any other painting the artist is no no longer around but the energy they have put is timeless it is there and you feel that energy and it can be healing and it can be empowering it can do a lot of wonders to the viewer who look at it um, so that energy becomes immortal i, I believe <laughs> yeah absolutely all right so i do want to get through all the pictures of the album so let's quickly go over it and this, this is called symbiosis, symbiosis. Mm -hmm. um, again it is quite similar to the previous painting like the the Jingya. But here I am uh, talking about the symbiotic relationship that happens in nature. Like, for example, in the lichens, you know, the the the, the, the designs on her uh, on on her body is inspired by lichens. Lichens are. Of course, the the lichens uh, tells you the about the quality of the air. But the other thing is, lichens are made of uh, fungi, algae, and bacteria together, and they they live harmoniously. So, this is just a metaphor in our uh, society also that we have um, different communities who who live together. You know, it everybody is imp important and everybody. Uh, perform their uh, con con contribution to together, and uh, that beca that becomes uh, that makes the unity 
So it's about that and also um, biomimicry. Uh, a lot of things in nature we can mimic and learn from it. Beautiful. The dreamer. Yeah. The dreamer, if, if you remember, there, there was a friend of mine who had the umbrella in the hills. So that was the reference. And then I made this paint, painting. So um, a lot of my friends here, our generation, uh, we, we love going back to our childhood activities. You know, sometimes we just go out like that uh, to the hills and we would do things, you know, some people might find it uh, child, childish, but it's it's in a way healing for us and to live the, 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 the things that we missed out as a child, you know, to be free and to ex explore. When we were a child, we had a lot of limitations and were lots of pressure, but now, you know, we, when we become independent, we want to go back there and then relive the childhood dreams. So the dreamer is that here, you know, she's, uh, she's going back to the childhood uh, uh, activities, going to the hills and, um, you know, going to grandma's orange orchard, plucking orange and uh, with the insects. So just wanted to, capture that nost nostalgic feeling, even with the yellow colors, like a dream. That's beautiful. And I have to say that what you try to capture in the dreamer is exactly what I dream of, um, as you <laughs> said, many of us didn't have the freedom. I did not yeah. have the freedom to explore True. Manipur. Yeah. I still don't know many places in Manipur. Mm. So it is my dream to go back to Manipur and it is still in the planning phase, but I want to have a reality show, which I will collaborate yeah. with my previous guest speaker for them to take me to the most beautiful place, which they think. And in as part of that, I will get to explore Manipur. Um, yeah. The beauty about Manipur is there are a lot of places which are unexplored and those yeah. are more beautiful. Um, I, I prefer going there than to go to commercial places like a lot of people like to go to picnic spots or to the parks. But I, I really, me and my friends really enjoy going to the places which are untouched and they have the energy. They inspire yeah. me. Yeah, and I thought, you know, you know, having that, reality show would be a good uh, learning for other people too and also for me it's a very personal project because i really wanted to see manipur and i wanted to see it from you know from the lens of people whom i have met in their yeah. view that if i say okay take me to the place where you think is the most beautiful for you right so that yeah. is coming up and i hope you will be absolutely a part of <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Take me to one of the beautiful spot um, because like you said right dreamer um, that's what I dream of I have this immense love for Manipur but I have not explored Manipur yeah. I paint flowers of Manipur but I have not seen it <laughs> I have a lot of energy in what I do but I have like not seen yeah. or um, interacted with you know many people out there so yes i love the dreamer <laughs> <laughs> thank you yeah and you, you should come when the things get better yes definitely. Definitely. yes and i love uh the hairstyle again very very beautiful if if you if you look closely there there is um some something hanging on her hair over, yes. over here that is the marigold flower petals that is turned into a yes. garland type of thing. Okay. So I remember as a child, we used to, my elder cousin sister used to teach us making garland with the petals of marigold, not the whole marigold, but the yeah. petals. Yeah, I was a little bit. 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 And then if I think it is the house Hanare, which you are. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. Exactly. I know I was trying 
figure out like what flower is this from the big one you did add one big one right mm -hmm. but that looks like the marigold but i was trying to understand so thank you for that context yeah i really love it now when you have a new work we should uh, you know you should come to my show and explore and in fact i'm planning to um, have a art club and i was thinking that you know we can invite uh, national international artists and you know have like a judith show it would be an opportunity for people in manipur also to have more exposure of the art because we know about you we know about your art you have had a lot of coverage but it is such a awesome opportunity for all of us to be hearing about you know the art about what thought you have um what idea you had when you created it so i think we should have more and more of this and i know we are already at time and i'm still talking <laughs> <laughs> yeah i also didn't realize so the time okay the golden hills oh yeah oh this painting again um one of the painting from the growing wild series again here also the childhood mem memories so um this is a concept that i developed the golden hills because i see a lot of hills and um our childhood memories like they say all is gold so for mm -hmm. for me our uh, childhood memories are like golden days golden time so the the golden hill also like when i go up the hill you feel a different um, kind of experience you know when you are on on a higher ground you see everything more clearly when i look at manipur from a higher ground for example from the plane i see the entire thing you know not just a spot but i see everything from top so the golden hill, hill is like a subconscious level of our mind that um, that is there you know so um, it is like a meditation and also a healing um, to go to the golden hills to the subconscious mind uh, the the huge sandrembi she's ho holding the golden tortoise beetle that's the symbolism of the childhood memories so she is not able to find a lot of them around so she is going back to the past to find it and she found it and she is just em embracing it to her heart yeah. and and like you know she is intensely emotional so her eyes are closed like that and everything is golden so what is the mark on her cheek uh here yes it, it's a scar so the scars is a part of you it tells uh, a background it, 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 it stories about your journey uh, it can be from uh, from childhood activities uh, adventure it can be from abuse it can be anything but that becomes a part of your mm -hmm. you part of you becoming you yourself now so just embracing everything about ourselves i also have a lot of scars on my yeah. face um, i used to feel very insecure about it uh, as as a child but now i don't uh, i don't really feel that way um, yeah, yeah no it's beautiful and i purposely i knew that it was by intent that you had put the scar but i wanted to ask it so that our viewers and listeners when you look at the art you see that even one dot the artist has thought about something and put that dot or a line or you know <laughs> that's beautiful with this opportunity can i show show everybody okay i want to explain this and then i i wanted to show a a, a work in progress which will highlight the, this this scar it okay. tells a, a sure. lot about the scar. Yeah, I'm getting too excited. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Taking too much time. No, no, that's um, fine. That's fine. So what we are going to do is, um, it has taken I don't know how many years, three years, four years for us to meet. 
Uh, <laughs> I do want to finish the album. Um, and then, you know, um, um, we, let's talk about your work in progress. How about that? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so let's talk about this, the little green umbrella. This is the one you were so, talking about in the beginning. Yeah, this is the one I'm talking about. The, this is, again, capturing one of the precious childhood memory of mine. Um, I have always liked the color green from childhood, I, as far as I remember. I always liked anything green, green colored candies, green colored clothes, uh, everything green. So, and as a child, um, so my parents, uh, they come from a very humble background and uh, we didn't have a lot of things. We no luxury while growing up. Uh, so getting a gift was very rare as a child. So um, one time, and I used to hate the school. I used to get terrified of everything about school. So I told my mother every time as a child that, you know, please wait for me outside the gate. I don't, I don't want to be alone here. So, um, one time I was waiting for my mom and then it was raining a bit also. Then I, you know, I, I was just looking outside the gate. I couldn't find her. Lots of crowd were there. Uh, the other parents were come coming to get their children, and then I saw the green umbrella, you know, that pops out from the crowd, and uh, and I looked at it, and then the, when the crowd dispersed one by one, I saw my mother smiling uh, with the umbrella. That was a gift for for me, and. I was the happiest that day, and I still remember very vividly about the umbrella that gives me just joy to receive a gift, of, you know, uh, which was very rare. So uh, recently, uh, for the Mother's Day, I did this painting, That's so and cool. home homegrown uh, featured me with the painting. So they asked me to create some something. I created this one. That's so beautiful. What's your mother's name? What is your mother's name? Oh, my mother's name, uh, Ibe Aima. So, um, yeah, she works very hard and um, she sacrificed a lot of her uh, joy. Um, she wouldn't buy a lot of things, but she would save uh, all her savings for our education. Um, so, I mean, she she didn't get a chance to go to higher say, secondary school, but she had a dream to make us educate and uh, make us a uh, uh, um, an independent, um, you know, strong, strong person. So yeah, um, I really what, what nice, admire her. What a beautiful gift and creation on Mother's Day, you know, such mm. a strong memory, right? It may seem yeah. um, small for somebody to say that, oh, you know, the memory of a child seeing the mom, you know, dispersing the crowd with a green umbrella but it's so beautiful when you explained you know the background the feeling um and that makes uh, that makes us that makes you believe in this power of love unconditional yeah. love right between a child and a mother and the painting is so beautiful yeah. <laughs> Thank you. What about the dragonfly? The like um, the dragonflies. Um, I, I I I use a lot of insects in my in my work. I I'm still fascinated by the insects. The dragonflies, uh, in a way, also sim sim symbolize the free free feeling of a of a child. You know. But, um, just to be out in nature and uh, yeah. Beautiful, love it. 
Wedding guests. <laughs> this painting is quite fun. Um, when I paint this, I paint it with the transgender com community of Man Manipur uh, in my mind because uh, they have been playing a huge role in shaping our society and contributing a lot. And uh, a lot of time I find them very humorous and they, um, they can create humor, uh, funny s situation out of a serious, um, uh, you know, condition also. Um, a lot of uh, transgender women like Santa and then the Jenny, I, 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 I find them very inspiring and they have a lot of energy and fun. Um, so um, <laughs> I thought I have I thought of creating some something like that, but of course everything is overdone. You know, uh, I just wanted to capture the yeah. fun and loud uh, energy, <laughs> the the full on makeup and the funic uh, behind that forms like hills, um, you know, and the and the telephone from our uh, our time. <laughs> Yeah, yeah the wedding gets also uh, in a lot of the weddings. I see a, a lot of trans women, um, you know, all nicely dressed up. So I just wanted to cap cap capture in a title called the wedding guest. So like <laughs> the yeah, entry no, of the wedding guest. A beautiful inclusion in your art, right, of our community, and you know, yeah. to shouting out to all our. Uh, transgender who is watching uh, on how art also plays a very important role in uh, creating conversations, right? So thank you. This is awesome. <laughs> when the sky blush. This painting was done um, during the first pandemic. Uh, it was a really difficult time again. So I just wanted to express my emotion in this work um, in terms of the color and all. Um, it, it was a tough time, but also to be hope, hopeful and uh, in a prayer to, for, the, for the healing and uh, to see um, the silver lining or, you know, to, for the dark clouds to pass away and for the for the red sky to come that's beautiful i'm just looking at the art and admiring the structure of the lady the girl whom you have painted and i can feel that ethereal feeling calm feeling looking at her Mm. Did you have anybody in mind, thought? And I can also see the progression in, you know, in the expression of the portraits you are painting yeah. at the time you have started. Um, I can see more depth and feeling for me, for me, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, for, for, for me also, personally, I'm much more... Uh, deeply connected uh, emotionally in my work because I put all my heart, mm. uh, my emotions, you know, I, I, I channelize that emotions and, and I also believe art can heal uh, not just ourselves, but others also who see. So I created this painting in my mind during the tough time so that people can receive some um, healing with the colors and um, just being hopeful also for the good time. Yes, definitely. I love this. I think I put too many work. I, I think if, if you if the time is running out, we can skip also. <laughs> yeah, no, we are done with the work and, okay. uh, you know, now... Uh, I'm still going to go over the picture and I know that you might have put it for our gratitude section. Mm, yeah. uh, and I'm going to 
obviously let you continue on that because gratitude 1001 Thakachari is a very important project for me because I truly believe mm -hmm. that is going to elevate our community and bring us closer. Uh, so yeah, so let's go over it. And the next picture, what I have is my friend circle in Delhi. I love socializing and visiting galleries. So um, we, I, I really like to be with my friends in Delhi. Um, we, we, we have a huge cir circle and we like going to the, to the galleries or uh, sometimes to uh, musical gigs, um, to, to the bars where different artists play experimental mu music. So we connect, you know, people have different art, art forms, uh, different kinds of music they express. Um, even sometimes we go to cultural shows um, to the embassies. Um, it's always fun and um, I learn a lot. So I just wanted to share a more moment of that with my friends. <laughs> Beautiful. This was at the exhibition in New Delhi. So the, the, the crowd is from Woodstock um, International School, Missouri. Um, they are in touch with me and the, the teacher is a good friend of mine, uh, Mr. Hubbard and he brought all of them to my exhibition also because they were doing a tour of Delhi. And uh, yeah, this was one exhibition in Delhi. Uh, me and Laishram Mina, we did an exhibition together. Yeah, beautiful. And to all our listeners, we have interviewed Laishram Mina, love her work. Mm -hmm. uh, do look it up and, you know, so proud, you know, to see so creative, artists of Manipur, right? Yeah. And collaborating yeah. together and seeing the work at the national and international level. Love it. Yeah. I have known her from uh, from college days. Uh, I met her in the first year and we have been friend, good friends all throughout difficult times, good times, bad times where we have been together. So she's a really good friend of mine. Awesome. All right, now coming on to our gratitude session. So I have told about my mother, my my parents on a personal level. I, I, I'm very thankful and I'm grateful for my parents for everything from the beginning, um, uh, unconditional love. And uh, where I am today is because of them because um, they have given me what they are capable of. So I'm really thankful to them. And on a state level, this is ASP, um, Additional Superintendent of Manipur, the Manipur Police, Tanauzam Bhupinda. Uh, she is an inspiring figure to me. I'm really grateful to her and I believe our youth can, of Manipur can learn a lot from her. Um, she, she is an example of women empowerment. Um, she, I, I am inspired by her, uh, by her courage, by her authenticity, truthfulness, um, her strength and her knowledge, wisdom on permaculture, indigenous cult culture so much we could learn uh, from 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 her so i follow her and uh, she is very dear to me and she is she is my huge inspiration here <laughs> it's brenda i really yeah. admire her absolutely so we have had um, many i should say many by now who have appreciated her and nominated her uh, as part of our 1001 Thagachari. And I want to take a moment to also share an art which I have done, dedicating it to her. Oh yeah, the poppy. <laughs> I love this art. Absolutely. 
So to everybody who are listening, um, you know, this is our way of expressing and uh, showing our appreciation, our thagachari, our admiration to Brinda. And I really love like, you know, all the points what you have said right about her work on permaculture, but most particularly, I love her passion and dedication to work, uh, you know, to on, on the drug issue which we have mm -hmm. in Manipur. So this painting yeah. is not done yet. I'm taking a very mm -hmm. long time on this because I still have not got the hand right. Beautiful <laughs> <laughs> but this is my dedication to her, uh, mm. you know, daughter of the land. That's what I have called the painting. Oh. And so truly, beautiful. she's the yeah. daughter of the land, right? Uh, and yeah. so, thank you, Thagachari Brinda. Uh, I thank hope we will have you in our show. And many people have requested her to be in our show. And I hope that, you know, we'll get that opportunity soon. But whatever you're doing, uh, we love you, our love and support for you. So this is my dedication. Absolutely. <laughs> so, <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so well, that's why I love um, 1001 Thagachari because it makes us connect um, in knowing, right? Who do we admire in our uh, place? Who is doing what work, right? And that's where truly the inspiration comes from. So beautiful nomination all right and the last one <laughs> so uh on the international level this is uh rob greenfield he is an american environmental activist and humanitarian um he has been an inspiring figure um his his movement on uh, growing our own food um, challenging the the plastic foods, um, you know, where you, you don't know where it comes from. Um, you know, it's very empowering. He also builds communities um, and also he talks about uh, foraging and finding edible foods and medicines in in the in the wild. So um, I learn a lot of lot from him and he believes in uh, sustainable uh, life where you don't generate a lot of carbon uh, fo footprints. Uh, same, uh, Jay Brinda also believes in that principle of su sustainable life lifestyle. Um, so I really admire both of them and uh, we could learn a lot from them. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. I have watched um, some of his video and mm. you know, I, I, yeah, I do follow him and it's really a great nomination. So we are at the end of your album and quickly I want you to share your work in progress and then, you know, we'll call it a wrap. Okay, I'll just wait. <laughs> And to all our listeners, I love what you have commented. Uh, so thank you so much for your comments. Uh, I see my Bambaneshwari, Nabin Chakma, Thangat Tongbram, Amarjit, Khaba, my mom, Lenny Lystrom, Bineshwari, Muttum, Rajan, my Bumpy, Solomi, Pau, the Godfather, Sen Thokchom, NK Thokchom. Saroj Nalini Khumdram, Yumnam Arun Kumar, Moirankhem Nagindra, Bijoy Ninthausam, Sapam Bipo Singh, Nirmala Rajkumari, Hingu Jam Inau Bem, My Bam Riki Devi, Sachi Chinga Kham, Uttam Chan Laishram, Sapne Ninthausam, Johnson Salam, PM Sek Mazid, Loitong Bam Sujata Izam Thaunau Jam Sham Singha Santa Kurai Nauton Ning Thausam. Thank you for all your comments. Um, but today, Thank you. because of the time constraint, I am not able to read out all the comments, but really appreciate your comments and participation. And Sony will go through it. And, you know, for the questions, you know, we can answer it offline. Um, 
Yeah. But I think it's been such a wonderful, great uh, show. And, you know, the wait has been worthwhile for me. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about your last work in progress. Yeah. Can you see? It's not okay. complete. No. Yeah. So I'm going to zoom you out. So let's see. Okay. Yes. Okay. So you, yeah, we it's can a, see it's, progression it's, it's on. a slightly big art piece. Mm -hmm. mm. The title is called Him, Her, and Them. So this, I want to talk about the importance of pronouns. So recently, I also learned uh, through colleagues and friends about the, the pronouns and importance of pronouns. Um, so I wanted to talk about the pronouns. The, the, in the middle is, a, again, a transgender woman. So I wanted to, I was coming back from the other painting, which uh, Jay Monica, you were talking about this scar. So mm -hmm. here, the scar on her face has a background story here. Mm -hmm. So, you know, on the jaw and on the nose, there's, there, there are scars. Mm -hmm. uh, but that shows about her resistance, her uh, courage, uh, her strength, and uh, her wounds are healed, but the scar tells stories. So um, mm -hmm. I would be able to explain more when the work is co com complete. There, uh, I will do that on my social media. Um, but yeah, this is this work uh, is something I'm very excited to share very soon. Yes, yes, definitely. So what is the order of the pronoun you said? Him, her, and them? Yeah, him, him is the, is the man over here. Mm -hmm. Here. Yep. That's, that's her. The him, transgender her. is her. Mm -hmm. And this is them, a gender non-binary. Non mm -hmm. So some, some, somebody they don't, uh, who, uh, who, who does not, uh, who, who wants to be them, who, who does not uh, conform to a particular gender. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I'm always very curious and I'm lear learning about um, new things, about different pe people, communities. So just mm -hmm. wanted to share that. Um, many times in, in, in Manipur also, um, I have seen people calling transgender Tamo, uh, da, da Jenny, and all, and I think it's quite hurtful for some some somebody when they uh, when they believe they are they are trans women, and other per person call, calling him or the wrong wrong pr pronoun. I think we need to think a little bit and be a little bit more sensitive towards these things. Um, yes. Yeah. yeah, and I think it is also awareness and education, right? So what I'm loving about our People of Manipur show is now we are openly talking what we feel, right? Like today you mm -hmm. shared a lot of personal, um, personal point, you know, on the mm -hmm. issues what we are trying to address. And I think that is the kind of conversation I want to have as part of finding the voices. Santa Kurai expressed, right, that, yeah, of course, I don't want you to call me Da or Tamo. I love mm. to be called Iche, right? Mm. Yeah. Like for the younger ones. So I think sometimes people don't know what to do, what to call, mm. right? So when mm. we have this conversation, now people who are listening would know that, oh, okay. You know, we shouldn't be calling that, mm. right? Yeah. So, so I think it is about having this open conversation and having that clarity, right? Uh, so, and mm -hmm. we are doing a great job because we are talking about it. We are expressing it in art. And I see um, 
that our community has grown you know so much from what i knew and we are so open and when we have that right intent even if i was wrong um having that ability to say that oh i was wrong because i didn't know about it right like you said mm -hmm. that yeah when we were small we were never taught like put the trash in a trash right you eat a candy mm -hmm. and you throw it and now you learn it and we speak about it so Mm -hmm. um, I feel very positive. I am very excited. I am very thankful to you, Sony. And Thank you, I want to give the last few minutes to share my gratitude to you, uh, particularly reminding you about the incident where I, um, before I started 1001 Thakachari, I was thinking about uh, creating product lines so that we can have ways to express, which could be greeting cards and um, artwork. And my true intent at that time was to merge my two ideas of Thagachari, which is gratitude, and also promote um, the artists of Manipur. So that is how I was approaching a couple of years when I reached out to you for the project. And I reached out to many artists uh, for this project. And at that time, Sony was one of the few artists who openly uh, understood my intent and what I wanted to achieve. And Sony had shared a beautiful woman, and I don't have it handy right now, a beautiful woman combing her hair um, as part of that project. And that project never did launch because I did not get as much um, response as I was expecting. But I wanted to thank you for believing in my intent, for believing in the project, what I wanted to do. And today we already have launched 1001 Thakachari. And out of that project, I was also going through my own personal journey and I started painting. Mm. And that's when I truly started painting. And um, so I wanted to take a moment and thank you for understanding what I wanted to do at the time. I did not launch it because it didn't feel right to me. But right mm. now we have product lines of journal um, which has my art and my idea is uh, truly, you know, I paint because it is healing for me. It is all energy work for me, but my intent is the finding the voices was created so that we all connect together through each other's story, but most importantly, to promote people of Manipur. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh, Thank you, Jay. Yeah, <laughs> It's yeah. a wonderful opportunity for me also to share um, you know, I, I would have never shared like like this, all these little details about my journey, about what I think, all of this. Um, I, I mean, I, I do share uh, my thoughts on through work, but something like this on a personal level. Um, thank you so much, uh, Chase, for, for, for this, for this opportunity. <laughs> Again, um, I truly appreciate and all the work that you are doing. And I love your paintings also. <laughs> yeah, so let me share that a uh, little bit. And I was just, I just pull up the latest one, right? Mm. Um, and let me align my screen. So this is a picture which Santa had tagged. And as you can see, what we do is we, um, it is a project for finding the voices that mm. we reach out to 1001 people to show our gratitude as we are going through this journey. It's not mm. about limiting the number of people, but we wanted to have a target number. Mm. So we have a goal, you know, that every month we sent out Thagachari Kudos, um, which may not be lots financially, but it is about love, it's about energy. So this is a picture which uh, Santa had shared uh, just mm. today. And I am so thankful. Again, you can see that, you know, uh, when we talk about finding the voices, it's not me. I'm just the face of it, but it's a family of all of us together. You are finding the voices for me. 
So you can see here that Santa's Thagachari Kudol is given by Ichet Sadhana, uh, Dr. Sadhana, who is again mm -hmm. for me finding the voices. So what I'm trying to convey is finding the voices is you. It is yours. It is our platform, right? Um, and so let me just zoom in a couple of pictures and <laughs> here I am See. using my artwork. Oh, that's a painting. My true, yeah, my true intent initially was I wanted to use the artwork of true artists, right? Like mm. you and like other people mm. whom I have reached out because oh, when we use the art, it is also promotion, right? And also mm. it is the way of connecting to each other. And we started with product line, as you can see, you know, cards where we can write um, words of love. And then we also came up with journals. So, mm -hmm. uh, okay, so the journal picture is not very clear. Let me see. But the idea was have the art as the picture of the journal and have words um, you know, the words could be yours, the word could be that of a writer. As I am doing this project, the intent is we have the product line, we use it. It is it is manufactured, it is manufactured in Manipur. And I'm very particular about that, that I want it to be made in Manipur because it gives the opportunity for the people of Manipur, right? Mm -hmm. And when you use art by artists of Manipur, it's a form of promotion right mm. uh, and then when you use words by writers of Manipur it's a form of promotion so that is how our project landed up um, I wanted to share that with you because I know I reached out to you you shared your art but it did not go places but I am opening it up to you that we definitely you know if you are interested uh, want to dedicate one of our journal line for you with your art, with your words, um, because as my gratitude to you for that project. Uh, Thank you. So let me know if you want to participate, but this is how we are uh, coming up with ideas on how we can connect in a very small way, because journaling for me is very important. Um, mm -hmm. And I always encourage people to journal, write, write your dreams, uh, write whatever you want and when we buy the journals instead of getting it from outside of Manipur why not use you know it as a platform of promo and connection uh, for people uh, from the artwork for the from the beautiful words because as I'm featuring more and more people of Manipur I'm seeing that wow you know so much of creativity right in terms of writing in terms of art so I just wanted to end today's show by showing my deepest gratitude to you because it meant a lot when you said, oh, you know, uh, yeah, I feel it's my art, let's use it. And it didn't launch it because it didn't feel right. But now we are launching this product line and I still want you to be a part of it. Uh, yeah. you know, uh, yeah. Thank you, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> All right, so with that, I am going to end today's show. We took a lot of time. And yeah. <laughs> thank you to everybody for watching, thank and you. we'll have more of this. And thank you, Sony. And next time uh, you have more of the art, we shouldn't be taking, I think, three years or four years to coordinate. <laughs> Let's yeah. jump on it, right? Any last yeah. words before we end the show? Thank you so much for everything. I just want to thank you, uh, you know. It's, uh, it was, uh, I mean, I was so, I was not sure about it for a long time, but I'm really thankful for all the encouragement and uh, motivation. <laughs> Finally, we made it. So I'm really thankful. And I th I'm really thank you for letting me, giving me an opportunity to share a deeper uh, thoughts about my work and my journey <laughs> yes definitely i love Very deep grateful. conversation yeah. let's continue the deep conversation yeah. uh, i prefer to have deeper conversation than small talks um, yeah. which may not mean much right uh, yeah, so i hope to so see I, I i hope to see this show grow much bigger 
and uh, keep shining there. <laughs> yes, absolutely. All right. So thank you so much. And thank you, everybody, for listening. And uh, keep tuning in. Keep sharing. Uh, let's celebrate the people of Manipur. Kurumjai. Thank you, everyone.